Good morning, all of you. Welcome to the English class. Today we are going to the second session of our lesson, Little Bobby. Okay, children. Hope you all have gone through the lesson once. Have you gone through the lesson? Yeah. Come to the comprehension part now. See here in the first passage. Look. What kind of a boy was Bobby? See here, is he a good boy? Uh, is he a bad boy? C. Troublemaker. D. Intelligent. Please uh, give your answer there. And uh, what was the occasion mentioned? See here, what occasion mentioned in the passage? Look, is that a wedding day or birthday? Option B. Option C. Anniversary. Option D. Housewarming ceremony. Okay, children. So here you see and write which was the occasion and what did little Bobby want as a birthday gift? What did he want as a birthday gift? That means uh, which one he asked. See here is that a bike? A option bike. B bicycle. C car. D bus. Okay, children. You think and write there. And uh, what did Bobby's mother ask her son to do? So what did she ask her son? Yes. You need to understand. What did mother ask Bobby to do? See here. And uh, fifth question. Why did she ask to do so? Why did she ask? Ask Bobby to do so. Why mother rejects his, uh, um, uh, his proposal? Proposal of uh, uh, gift. And uh, why did she ask? What is the reason? What is the reason for asking little Bobby to do so? So what she wanted to do? And uh, why did she want him to do? Understand? Okay children, now please uh, write your answers. And uh, in the question paper, the questions will be like this. And uh, three questions will be multiple choice. And uh, two questions will be the short answer questions. Okay children. I hope you understand how to comprehend the passage and uh, write your answers in the notebook. And the uh, second passage, if you take the second passage, see here, little Bobby of course thought he did. This is the second passage. You see children, in this second passage, what are the questions given here? Who asked Bobby to write a letter? Tell me children, who asked Bobby to write a letter? And uh, who did Bobby address? Who did Bobby address in his letter? That means to whom he is going to write the letter. Okay. Who did Bobby address in his letter? And uh, third question. Who followed Bobby? When Bobby was going upstairs, when he was going to his room, how he went? Stumped upstairs. Stumped up. Stumped means what? Walked in upset mood. Okay. Understand? Here, walked in a noisy way. So, in an upset mood, that is called stump. When Bobby went upstairs, who followed him? Okay, here, uh, children, see. And uh, fourth question, what did Bobby's mother want? What did Bobby's mother want him? Yes, what Bobby's mother want him? See. And uh, fifth question, what, what must uh, Bobby tell, tell God? What should he tell God? Okay, understand? Hope you all understood the questions here. These are the uh, comprehensive passages. You can read the remaining uh, lesson and you need to prepare your own questions, comprehensive questions and go through the vocabulary and uh, parts of speech of the new words. And uh, please children, you do it in your notebooks. And remaining comprehensive passages framing of the questions and writing the answers. Please complete the work in your notebooks. Understand? Now see here children, the question number 13 to 17 that is editing. Editing for that means uh, some errors will be given in the middle of the sentences. You need to uh, identify the errors and rectify them. Understand? That is editing for. Look here. His birthday was coming on and he thought this was a good time to tell his mother what he wanted. See here children, what is the mistake you 
can identify here c his birthday was coming on he had no object is there listed yes here if any occasion if it is if, if it is coming in the future in near future at the time what we have to say not coming on that is coming up coming up there it should be coming up understand please note in your notebooks and here see in the second sentence mom i want you a bike for my birthday look here children here bobby asked directly to mother here came to the kitchen and asked mom i want you a bike not i want you a bike not i want a bike i want a bike then at the time in the story he is asking mom i want this is not want you this is not need to here you must write the one want understand and that is the mistake there and here see little bobby is a bit of trouble maker here see in the lesson lesson at the time of writing that was uh, that is in past tense actually see here his birthday was coming here in the beginning of the paragraph you can see it is in past tense then here you must write little bobby is a trouble maker not he was a trouble maker understand at the time in the past tense at the time of writing the lesson okay and here little bobby was okay and he had got into trouble in school and in home here see observe the preposition here not in school in home both here we must use the preposition at understand at school and at home so see here children any time you must use the preposition here at home understand you must not use in home like that Bobby's mother asked him. He thought uh, he deserved to get a bike for his birthday. Look, children. Here, whenever we ask a question in an indirect speech, we must add the word conjunction if. Understand? Here, you must write if here. Bobby's mother asked him. Asked. Sorry. Bobby's mother asked him if here if okay is it clear if he he thought he deserved to get a bike for his birthday okay look children you need to understand once and write here editing part and uh, I would like to introduce some rules uh, along with this uh, editing part I know I would uh, introduce some rules to you how to do editing part uh, correctly here see. When you get the sentence, when you get a two infinitive, two infinitive means you know very well. I want to get a good marks. I want to buy vegetables. Want to understand? He goes to school to study. To school to study. To study. That is two infinitive. Understand? These are the two infinitives. Here, after two infinitive, always we will should come. See here, mom wanted Bobby to reflect on his behavior from the lesson. Here you can see, mom wanted Bobby to reflect. Two plus V one, two plus V one. That that's why to reflect. Reflect is V one. So two plus V one. Here in the second sentence, Sunna worked hard to get the best marks. To get the best from best marks. Two plus V one here. This is a two infinitive. And then at the time of uh, doing with you, you must write V one only. So to confuse you in the editing part, they give sometimes V two and V three like that. At the time you need to write V one. Understand, children? We are first rule for the editing portion. And our second rule, after modal auxiliaries, you know what are modal auxiliaries? We have seen before helping verbs. Here you see can could, will could, shall should. May, might, must, ought to, dare to, need. These all are the modal auxiliaries. After these uh, words, modal auxiliaries, V one should be there. Understand? Which were which were V one form? Okay. Here you see, teacher should think cleverly. Think V one. Should think. Okay. After should. And uh, students must follow. Must follow. Okay. Here V one. You can take so many examples like this. We will buy a new car. Will plus V one. 
Okay, we shall go to Hooti in future. Shall plus V1, shall go like that. We must work hard, we must work hard. Work, V1, we must work hard like that. Understand? Uh, could you, uh, he could work, he could work harder. So, here V1. Everywhere you can see after modal auxiliaries, V1 should be followed. Okay. And here in the third rule, when you come to the third rule, when paragraph, if the given paragraph is in present form, if the given paragraph is in the present form, the main verb and helping verbs, everything, every verb should be in the present form itself. Main verb and helping verbs. You can see here, uh, main verb should be V1 and helping verbs Yam, Is, Are and uh, Has, Have These five helping verbs Understand? Here you can see example Here Ravi goes to school Ravi goes to school daily This is in present form The paragraph started with present form At the time And he is He is very careful He is is helping God. He is helping God. He is very careful about his studies. He has. He has a lot of patience. He has a lot of patience to work hard. He never give up. He never give up. That is, he never give up his trials. So, this whole paragraph is in present form and uh, you need to understand that when the paragraph is in present form, you must get everywhere in the paragraph V1 form and uh, all the helping words will be am, is, are, have, has. Understand? I hope you understand the rule number third, three. Okay, here, so you children, you need to practice. By practice, it comes very perfectly the how to uh, deal this uh, editing problem. Now, here, children, the fourth rule of editing, see here, if paragraph is in past tense, if the given paragraph is in past tense, see here, the main verb should be V2. The main verb should be V2. And helping verb should be verbs, verb, have. Verbs, verb, have. Here, see, in the example, it was the Edgar Akbar's coach. So, when you speak about uh, historical events and uh, previous, uh, all the past events at the time, emperors and kings, uh, kings and emperors and every, uh, whatever it had happened in the past, so you can consider it as past tense. See here, it was the emperor Akbar's court. So, with this you can understand, this paragraph started, this paragraph started with verse and it is in the past tense. And Akbar announced in the court. See here children, they are given the verb V1. Here, announce, V1 given here. So, announce in the court that someone has broken. Someone has broken, has plus V3. Has plus V3. Has, has broken his mirror. Here, actually this is the past tense paragraph. And you need to understand that here, Akbar announced V1 shouldn't come there. According to our rule, what should come? V2. Yes, when the same paragraph is in past tense, it must be there. What must be there? V2 must be there. So, here, announced. What is the correct word? Announced. Announced is the correct word here. Announced is the correct word. I corrected here. Announced. Okay. Announced in the court that someone has broken. Here, has broken. It is a present perfect tense. In the past paragraph, present perfect tense must not be there. So, you must write had broken. Had broken. Understand? This, yes, this is past tense paragraph. Had broken. This is, I directed here, had broken. Okay, children, did you understand? Okay, here see, the fifth rule here, you see, editing rule. After a have, has, had, V3 should be used. You know very well, here, uh, we have seen so many examples 
at the time of learning uh, past present perfect tense okay here i have right exam sometimes it will be given i have right exam what is the mistake here you can easily understand here right is mistake here i have have after what should be there so b3 written should be there i have written exam i have written exam okay i said to you in the present perfect tense it is in the present perfect tense i have written exam already just just now just before okay and here you see and they have seen songs they have seen songs here the verb is v1 what is the error here the error is yes v3 should be there sung that is they have sung sung is the correct verb sung is the correct verb and uh, come to the sixth rule children here if helping verb is if helping verb is yam is or was verb at the time here you see v1 plus in form v1 plus in form should be used okay and here see i am go to school what is the error here i am go to school is in this sentence go is the error so please correct it going say full sentence i am going to school i am going to school see here she is dance in the party here what is the error what is the error she is dancing in the party is dancing is dancing so is after yam after is after or after was were after v1 shouldn't be used v1 plus ing form should be used v1 plus ing form should be used i think you understood now and here see uh, seventh rule if the sentence is in passive voice if the sentence is in passive voice where it should be v3 you know very well active voice passive voice you have practiced many times see here songs are sang by them songs are sang by them here what is the error children yes what is the sang sang is the error so uh, instead of sang what should be there v3 should be there every passive voice takes v3 every passive voice takes v3 so songs are sung by them songs are sung by them understand and next vehicles were repaired by him vehicles were repaired by him here repaired here v2 v3 are same for repair verb okay when v2 v3 are same at the time it is correct only here vehicles were repaired by him you consider this repaired as v3 were repaired were repaired by him this is the correct usage okay and here seven rules seven editing rules we have seen here i think you understood well some more rules we will see in the next class and children i hope you will do the editing part very correctly and uh, very easily understand yes here now coming to the question number 18 to 22 see children in the question number 18 to 22 choose the right word what is this choose the right word you need to there some words have been given some words have been given you know this one and uh, here deserve birthday reflect think behavior trouble reflection all these are the words given to you okay now you need to think and write which is the suitable one and in the blanks you have to fill in the blanks see here bobby's mother wanted bobby to dash which word is suitable there if you go through the lesson and uh, you can see in the passage once uh, if you have gone through the lesson you will get the idea automatically see here bobby's mother wanted bobby to dash first one is to reflect to reflect on is the dash see here in the blank what should be okay over the last year and said go to your room bobby and dash about you about how you have behaved this year okay and now 
then write a letter to God and tell him why you dash. Yes, why you dash up? Why for you work? Yes. Understand? It is very clear to you. You need to go through the passage once and uh, you can fill in the blank. Understand? It is the question number 18 to 22 in the question paper. Okay, children? I hope you all understood now this question. And now, question number 22 to 27 in the question paper. See here, this is a rewrite as directed. Rewrite as directed. That means, uh, which question they will ask? They will underline some, some words there in the passage. And uh, you need to give the answer according to their instruction. See here, has seen Bobby's mother wanted. The same paragraph has been given here. Uh, Bobby's mother wanted Bobby to reflect. That is the second paragraph uh, here. Uh, you can see and uh, write the noun form of the word reflect. Write the noun form of the word reflect. Reflect means think. Reflect is verb. And what is the noun form of the word reflect? You know all the verb forms, noun forms and adjective adverbial forms. Okay. You need to search in the dictionary if possible. You need to understand and write the noun form of the word reflect. And afterwards, second question, write the antonym of the word behavior. Behavior, antonym, opposite. What is the opposite for behavior? Children, you need to understand and write there. And here, write the synonym of the word thing. What is the synonym of the word thing from the passage? You know, so several times I have uh, said to you here, and uh, what is the synonym of the word thing? Understand? You will get easily from the passage. And see here, write the parts of speech of the word birthday. Yes, what is the parts of speech of the word birthday? Okay. And here, write the meaning of the word deserve. Deserve means what? What is the meaning of deserve? Okay, understand? I think you all understood and uh, you, are, you will do this all work in your notebooks, homework notebooks. Okay? Now, question number 18 to 22 to 27 also completed. This is the, these are the second uh, two models and here next uh, in the section C. See here, section C is meant for discourse. You know very well. Which type of discourse is given there and uh, what you have to write. Here you see one major and one minor discourse we can see in from this little Bobby lesson. Okay children, see here you please write in your homework notebooks. Please write in your homework notebooks that. So if you were Bobby, if you were Bobby, what would you ask as your birthday gift? What would you ask? Here, Bobby asked a red boy. Now, if you were Bobby, what would you ask as your birthday gift? Write a letter to your father or mother. Okay, children? You know how to write letter. Write a letter to your father or mother asking a birthday gift. Asking a birthday gift. Okay? Right. Now, the minor discourse part, second minor discourse, see here, write a possible conversation between Bobby and mother. Write a possible conversation between Bobby and mother. Children, you think and write what happened in this little Bobby story and how Bobby replied and what mother wanted him to do and what Bobby did, everything. So, regarding that, you please uh, frame one conversation and uh, write uh, five exchanges of each uh, five five ten exchanges uh, suitable and uh, possible conversation between Bobby and mom. Okay children and now I think you understood the discourse part also. I hope you all do in your homework notebooks regarding this. We have completed the comprehensive part and uh, fill in the blanks with the suitable words related as directed and uh, discourses, one major and minor discourse that is letter writing and conversation 
Okay. And uh, editing part we have completed. Everything we have completed regarding regarding this lesson. And uh, hope you understand your work how to do and uh, you complete that work in time. And see here, children. You need to read the textbooks thoroughly in order to gain all the skills of in, uh, language, and uh, which are very very essential for you to complete the given tasks. Understand? Regarding lesson, textbook is very very important, and uh, um, hope you all become the best readers of textbook first of all. And uh, here, children, never neglect your studies. Never become irresponsible and see here, respect your parents and teachers' words, be polite, be patient, be confident and be energetic. See here, dear children, any person needs some basic qualities to become successful in their life. So, they are positive attitude, vision, planning, courage, confidence and commitment. Determination, discipline and hard work. These good qualities you must all acquire and uh, you do your best. Wish you good luck children. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.